Martin. It's another beautiful day in sunny San Diego. <laughs> hey guys, I know they're already laughing. Today's gonna be super fun. We only just gonna talk about serious stuff, but I am in company here with a, a great friend of mine, Sonia Zizi, the rock Hi, star, Joe. and Anthony Palomares, another rock star here. So as you know, this is Real Talk San Diego. If you have problems, you know, hearing at times F-bombs and stuff like that, I strongly recommend you not to watch it. I'm as real as you can get. <laughs> so uh, in the studio, they're laughing. I hear people laughing a little bit. But uh, we're about to talk about serious things, which is the, what's happening here with the real estate market that's shifted, in my opinion. And we're going to ask uh, these two professionals what they think about it. And second of all, I always like to throw some things here and there. Um, you know, they don't know what we're going to be talking about as usual. And uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, what their take is about the discount brokerages, what we had into. So we're talking about real estate overall and also mindset. If you guys don't know who Sonia Zizi is, she's a great friend of mine, first of all. And she's one of the most successful real estate women here in San Diego County. I've known her for a while. She rocks it. She sold over $30 million in volume last year. She did about, what, 25 the year before? Mm -hmm. So uh, she won twice a gold, uh, what do you say, uh, excellent, whatever you I want. I don't know, I want anyway, nominee. She won it all. <laughs> so Sonia Aziz is a rock star. She's somebody yes. that, seriously, she's somebody that knows Thank you know you. her thing. She knows real estate. It's one of the few people that I look up to because I know she's, she's a master of what she does. She's a real professional. Aww. It's true. I love you too, Joe. <laughs> Anthony Palmares is my to go to. Dream Home Steam. Great guy. How many deals do you have on your belt? Like uh, a little over 100. So, over 100 transactions. So, he's a veteran. He's not just a guy that started yesterday. So, we're going to hear some good stuff. I'm going to ease into it. Um, I'll talk with the ladies first. Oh, thank you, Joe. Hi. <laughs> All right. Thank Here you. Here I am. So, Sonia, you have your own team. Is the Azizi team, right? The Azizi team. Team Azizi. The Mujahideen. The Mujahideen. <laughs> <laughs> so, now we gotta go there. <laughs> I've got a couple Americans on there too. <laughs> Good, you're mixing it up. Right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, Azizi, Sonia, <laughs> super successful. And uh, Sonia, how long have you been in the business? Almost four years. Four years. Yeah. But you know, it seems like since you started, you've been doing like insanely well. So Thank it's not you. like a standard agent that takes a few years to get there. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm always being impressed in the way the ethics that she has and the way she works. And she's embarking everything into a new, um, you know, with the team, right? You opened this team. Yeah. How many agents do you have? I have four agents right now. Four agents, yeah. bunch of staff. It's a family business, right? With a. I've got a couple family members. Yeah, why not? I know where they live, and <laughs> I know where to find them. <laughs> <laughs> they can't leave me, so. There you go. <laughs> so, Sonia, I don't know if you're having the same perception, but sure. I noticed that you know we worked together uh, in another brokerage a few years ago. And uh, now, you know, we're different brokerages. We're still friends. You know, we, we talk to each other. Uh, we brainstorm about things that are happening on the market. So, <clears throat> excuse me. You know this. I don't know if you know this. I did. But something is happening right now in 2018. Because the market is so hot, there are so many uh, buyers out there, <coughs> such a low inventory. What do you know this? What I notice mm -hmm. is... People, are we allowed to curse? Oh, yeah. Oh, are, are people whoring themselves out? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't say that out loud. Yeah, I did. Um, but yeah, I, I've noticed a lot of discount brokerage and it's really hurting us and they're hurting themselves. And, um, you know, and I think that if you just kind of have that mindset that you're not one of them and, uh, and just there, there's people out there that will pick quality over, you know, just like that horrible competition of these 1%. Right. Now, I have nothing bad to say about Redfin. I don't know a whole lot about it. And, you know, what is the other one? Rex or something? Yeah, Rex. You know? there, I, there's so many that they try not. So there's like Open Doors. There is a Purple right. Brick. There is yeah. uh, LG Woodward. Sorry if you're watching you, man. <laughs> uh, there is so many. I mean, there's I can help you sell. Uh, we can go on and on and on. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think just like any other um there's so many doctors for example right. um and when you when you go to the doctor and it's important that you pick the right one totally. do you pick a discount 
you know, person no. that can either do your surgery or, you know, check right. you or your kids. Like, you want the best, right? right. So I, th I think it's the same concept with real estate. I think people just, like, sell this themselves short. And there are people that will appreciate a good agent. You just have to stand by that number, um, you know. So recently, you know, I, for for a minute there, I was getting discouraged because even the top agents mm -hmm. out there, you wouldn't believe, you know, I'm going in against them, and they're like, well, this person, no names mentioned, um, in in farming, will take a discount, and they'll do this, they'll stage it, and they'll take a discount. So. Um, on Facebook and everywhere else, they're just like, wow, this person's amazing. They're making a ton of money. They're not. They're not making any money. They're, you know, they're just making a bare minimal. And so I, you know, and uh, the other thing was like these million dollar properties. Um, there's a lot of competition with the million dollar properties. Totally, yeah. And so, but those guys are calling Redfin and, you know, some of the other, you know, and even putting agents against each other and they're giving you only one and a half percent, one percent, and they want everything. So I, it's just like, no, you have to stand up and say, no, that I am not a discount brokerage. So why do you think all this is happening? Because everybody's okay with it. Okay. So, so it's a matter of lowering the standards. Yeah, they, so? everybody's lowering their standard because the market is hot. They're lowering their standard. But the problem is when you start doing that, even if the market's not so hot, people are so used to that. Okay. Then what, what's going to happen is like all the you know all the agents are going to make less money mm -hmm. because of this hot market. And whether the market is hot or not, you know, it's just like you should stand up for you know your your hard work. Like right. you are a professional, you know, we're not just like, hey, we, I got my license and I want to sell real estate. We go through so much. We deal with so much that I almost think 6% is not enough. Honestly, I don't <laughs> think 6% enough, six is enough for all the things that we deal with. Um, what up, Derek? Hi, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, sometimes I even think about, you know, actually charging him more than 6%. Um, because of the offer that I put a package together, um, I help him with moving, I help people with um, putting their things in pods, and so I also have a package for 7%. So if you want to utilize some of those things, mm -hmm. here's a 7% package. There you go. Um, so, and people don't, people don't want to do those things. People don't want to move. Like it's, it's a lot of work. P I just you know, moved right hey, now. I'm losing like, my mind. <laughs> exactly. It's a lot of work. So I have guys, um, you know, shout out to uh, Favio Moving Company. <laughs> I use them and uh, they come out and, you know, we've already mm -hmm. worked out a deal. They, they're professionals and they put everything together for my clients. They bubble wrap it. They bring boxes for them. In addition to that, I have the other company that I work for. His, uh, their name, um, My Box. A great company. They bring in like 18 by 8 uh, size um, storage pods. Oh, wow. They put it right outside their house. And Fabio and his team will move everything in after they mm. shrink wrap it and box it up. And wow. then we just take it to the next <coughs> location. Nice. So it's easy. So same concierge service that the 1% is offered, pretty exactly. much. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> not even at the end. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it's not. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Right. And that's great. Uh, you already can see the difference. But, you know, at the end of the day, really, what, what people are focusing on, uh, and you got a lot, ton of experience with this, right? So the, always they look at the front versus looking at the net of what they're actually going to profit as far as the monetary mm -hmm. goes and the type of service they're going to receive. So you experience, you know, uh, different brokerages. Now we're working together, the Dream Homes team, you know, we strive for white gloves experience. Mm -hmm. So what's your take on <coughs> what's happening on the market, what we're heading to and so on? Well, um, it's a good question. I mean, I guess that's what we're here today to talk about. Um, like you mentioned, there's uh, a lot of buyers out there. The inventory is a lot lower than what we expect. Um, and sellers are still getting a premium for their property, and that's what's continuing to drive that price value up. Right. And buyers are willing to pay for it because there's not a lot of those premium properties that are put together. Um, I do see the shift where a lot of people are offering that 1% or you know things like that. Um, I did come from Redfin. Um, Redfin, you know, at my time there, it was a great company. But they, uh, they weren't in the 1% before. They I mean, were they're, not they're, they're offering that now. But yeah. The way they're offering that now, though, is that they're offering the 1%, but they're giving the buyers back when you purchase a property less of a rebate. So that's how they're able to offset that a little bit. Got it. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes, it makes sense there. 
Um, but um, yeah, so I just see that the market is, it's shifting towards people are like, like Sonia said, they're accepting it. They're kind of saying that that's the norm. Well, that's not the norm. Um, you know, I can speak from experience in regards to uh, the things that Joe and I do with the Dream Homes team and how we get a property put together and how we market it and advertise it and, and you know that white glove service, which is a lot different than when I worked at Redfin. Um, you know, Redfin, like I mentioned, it's a great company. I have nothing really bad to say about right. them at the time that I worked there. Things have changed from the time I worked there. They're now public. They weren't public before. You know, as you guys know, when you start to get into a publicly traded company, things start to tighten down a little bit. Volume becomes mm -hmm. more of a of a the norm. They want you to put more volume. They're gonna put more clients in front of you. So that white glove service that Joe and I and Sonia, uh, we, that we offer, you're not gonna get that at that particular place. You know, you right. might get the price or your, the commission a little bit lower, but you're not getting that service. And you made a very interesting point is when you go to the doctor and you need a surgery or you have cancer or you know, something like that, are you gonna pick the person that's the least or the person that's the best? You right. know, and you know, if it was me and my kids and my health, I'm gonna go, towards the best, who's doing the best, who's offering me the most, not just the best price, but the best service and the best product. And you know, that was a very vast difference of you know, seeing how Joe works and how the Dream Home team work and how we market things and how we actually create buyers instead of waiting for buyers. You know, we don't just get the listing, put the sign in the ground, say a little prayer, and hopefully that we exactly. sell the place. <laughs> That's what a lot of agents will do. Um, but we actually go out there and we find buyers. That's a big difference, you know, right. um, that I see. Very proactive. I mean, I, I, so this is, you know, my, my two cents on this is, so when, it, when we look historically back in 2005 and six, when there was a peak of the market, they had uh, I pay one. I don't know if you guys I, are familiar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was this big company, yeah. help me sell, uh, whatever. There was like a few companies, just like it's happening right now. Right. Obviously. Rewinding back 12 years ago, technology-wise, they were totally different than we, where we are right now. So they couldn't leverage as much as technology like they can do now. Like on social media, with a few hundred dollars, you can create an amazing advertisement campaign. Back in the days, they didn't have that. So, uh, so it wasn't that obvious. Now I feel like because people actually go on Google first, and mm -hmm. then you know they can they utilize social media. It's more obvious that we have all these one percenters. And my, my take is this, is that those are the people that are going to come on the market and make a few quick bucks yep. just because the market is favorable. Uh, it's a seller's market, so everything sells no matter what, apparently. But in the real facts, it's not like that. I'm looking at stats. I'm looking at for sale by owners. I'm looking at uh, condos in downtown, which there is way more inventory than, you know, than single-family residences in Del Cerro or anywhere mm -hmm. else here in San Diego County. So that's where you see the professional working the extra mile, the extra mm -hmm. hours, being more efficient and get that property sold. Just up on an island, a loft that's 1,200 square feet, you know, that we're closing today actually. This property was listed before with the discount broker, just they couldn't sell it. They listed two years ago, they couldn't sell it. We're closing ASCO today. today. So, Am I a magician? No. Am I better than anybody else? No, maybe, I but no. So. <laughs> but if the thing is, we keep on working on things. So we yeah. do the first set of, uh, you know, we put a marketing plan, we put it together, and they're always different. You know, one marketing plan in downtown is totally different than a home in Escondido or Rancho Penasquitos. So it depending on the demographic, well, we expecting the buyer to come from, and so on and on. And I'm not going to be telling you the whole story. but. The first try, you know, we, we failed. We had it on the market for 30 days and we did not sell it. If I don't sell a property within two weeks, something is wrong. And I'm usually always right on the price. I don't fail on that because yeah, I don't take a listing if they want 10, 15, 20% more than it's worth. I'm not like the discount brokerages because all they're doing this, guys, I'm telling you, they're showing, like you said, on social media, on Zillow, whatnot, mm -hmm. that they have like, you know, 20, 30, 50 listings, right? Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, wow, this is super busy. But when you really narrow it down, if I have to work with 50 listings, and then I have 10, 15, 20 buyers that I'm working with, how much really right. I have to dedicate for each single listing right. as far as time? Mm -hmm. It's right. zero. Mm. Well, I can touch on that. So th the, the way that, uh, you know, some of these discount brokerages are, I, I think we're using the term discount brokerage here. 
They are discount. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're discounting their fees. Um, the way that they're able to do that is because they they have associate agents, they have assistants that are helping them show mm -hmm. these properties. So you're not getting that service where you're seeing Joe, myself, or Sonia for every aspect of your transaction from right. looking at properties, doing home inspections, talking to you about disclosures, or if you're selling, doing open houses. Um, you're not getting that kind of experience or that service because again they have the numbers you know in order to make money at 1% you need to have a whole lot more listings to make it work in order to make that work you can't give that particular client all of your time you can't invest as much into them so you're forced to have associates or other people do that for you well as cool. you guys all know this is all about you know, building that rapport with your client, building that trust, you know, so it's not just for this transaction, it's for many transactions to come. Exactly. And you're not able to do that at some of these other places uh, just because you don't have that face time with them as much, you know. It's physically impossible. Like Joe said, you have 30 active listings and you're working with 50 active clients. How do you give that personal service? Yeah, I mean, let's just go back uh, a little bit even with, um, people automatically just go to somewhere like Rex or Redfin. They don't even give another mm. agent an opportunity. <laughs> so the, this agent comes in and doesn't know anything about that area, mm -hmm. that market. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, I did the comps mm -hmm. and this is what I think your home is. And I had a client that came into my open house and said, my home is worth $750,000. I'm working with a Redfin agent. Um, I'm like, okay, that's great. He's like, yeah, and I like him because it's 1%. Um, I'm like, okay, that's fine. Let me go by and take a look at your home because I do have buyers. I do work in this area. I was in Rancho Bernardo. I go right. to her house. She has a view, okay, in Rancho Bernardo. Um, she has solar. It's a single family detached property. Sounds her home is worth probably $830,000, yeah. mm -hmm. okay? And I can have people going over this with a bidding war. So she's leaving so much money on the table wow. with the $830,000 home, and she was willing to sell it to this, uh, you know, with the Redfin agent because she was thinking she's going to save $15,000 but lose almost $100,000. That's what they don't get. Mm -hmm. They don't they get don't that. They don't get it. And they won't, like, they get so <laughs> blinded with saving 10, 15,000 with this 1% mm -hmm. that they don't realize they're right. losing 50 mm -hmm. plus thousand. And when you have somebody like you and myself and yourself as, as far as like listing a property, we know how to get the max price mm -hmm. for your home. We'll bring you more money because when you're making 1%, Joe, at the end of the day, after paying 50% or so to you know Uncle Sam oh, and then yeah, paying yeah, our yeah. assistant and everything, what are we making? So we, we have when people are listing your house at 1%, so where are they cutting corners? Mm -hmm. They're not marketing your home. Mm -hmm. They're not doing I any of that the stuff. They're not that marketing. They're not marketing. They're not taking professional yeah. videos. Vi you know, they're not actually out there. We do AdWords. We do open houses. I'm not going to do any of that stuff for you if I'm not making any money. I don't know. I'm not in the business of not making money, right? That's right. So if you're taking one percent, right. you cut corners. So you're really suffering. You know, by hiring somebody else, you're losing so much money on your biggest investment of your life. Right. You know, and by hiring a discount agent, no, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I, I think they're they're looking at the quantity versus quality and, and it, uh, you know it's gonna work you know what well, they're gonna make some money obviously they are yeah. you know they're changing the, the dynamics of the business mm -hmm. you know now I personally lost like two three listings in the last couple of months and I, to be honest with you you know at the beginning I was upset I'm like look at these jerks I'm gonna lose against this guy I'm like who's this guy you mm -hmm. know what I mean I'm like <laughs> I sell like 103 to 105 <laughs> percent of the list price this guy right. sells a 97 that's almost eight percent difference right so you're not paying me one and a half percent extra, but you're gonna you're willing to leave eight percent on the table. Mm -hmm. You know what? I was upset afterwards. I'm like, you know what? I guess the reason I'm successful because I can pick and choose who I want to work with. Right. People that appreciate my time, that yeah. appreciate my professionalism, mm -hmm. they will. and I'd rather work like that you versus should. you know yeah. being like quantity, like having fifty. Uh, clients that they don't mm -hmm. appreciate at the end of the day they're going to be nickel and dime you on everything because so it's already a stressful transition you're selling your home and you're going to buy maybe another one or you're moving somewhere else and i get it you know we get it because we do this day in day out so we try to make it as less stressful as possible on the negotiation table that's what we are masters at Mm -hmm. Right, right. Negotiating not just for your house, 
um, with making sure you get the highest price, but also there's home inspections. Like, you know, what Ooh, if exactly. this Redfin agent, or I, I'm sorry, and I shouldn't say Redfin all the time. There's all these <laughs> other people. And let me remind you, there's also people, regular big agency, big name people are taking discounts. So I'm saying, you know, even when it comes to um, home inspections, you know, the guy asks for $20,000 and then there's agents says, well, just give him the 20,000. Mm -hmm. Let's just get this closed. Mm -hmm. But if you're, you know, the agent that the professional that you hire to have truly your back is going to say, absolutely not. We're not going to do this. We're not going to mm -hmm. give you $20,000. We'll give you $500 at closing. Let's get this wrapped up or the next buyer that I have already signed a backup offer. Exactly. will take mm -hmm. your house. Do you want this or not? So you want to make sure that you don't leave any money on the table to save five or $10,000. So just being out here to all the people taking a discount, don't. Don't hold yourselves out, people. Okay? <laughs> she, she likes just, that word. <laughs> no, just <coughs> if we all stick together as professionals and get what we deserve, what we deserve well, as I professionals, agree. you know, I, then I think that we will create a better trend and what are we going to, we're going to make real estate great again. There, there you <laughs> go. Sonia for president. <laughs> so, you know, one, one of the things I want to do you know, and we are talking as friends. There's a lot of people watching it right now. They're right. going to be watching it and commenting and whatnot. Hey, Carla, thank you for uh, uh, chiming in. I appreciate you. Hey, David, what's going on? So I'll take a second to say hello to everyone. And, uh, you know, people don't, don't really look at uh, what we go through. So yeah, it's interesting. I see so many other agents. Too. Now, it's so easy now to get a real estate license. You get into that and you just mm -hmm. get going, right? So, and you know what we do because we work together. Sonia and I worked together for years. So yeah. we went through a lot of training together. And it's not just about uh, NLP, neurologism programming. We went training about understanding about the newest technology that's on the market that's available that we can actually leverage to, to expose their properties as much as possible. I see it like this. When I get on a listing, it's exciting, but it makes me nervous too because... I have a responsibility now to sell that property. Look, you know, it's very, it probably happened maybe a couple of times in my whole career that I had to reduce the price. When I take it on that price, hey, I'm literally doing, opening my vein with blood and just doing the, the blood, mm. you know what I mean? I'm like, okay, I got it. This is what we're going to sell it for or more. So then I start brainstorming. I'm like, okay, we decided to do this type of marketing but let's do this other thing in addition to it. Maybe we're going to have more people into the door. So, and that's what, you know, I've been doing on and on and on. And I know there's these guys that just take any single listing at one, one, one percent and they list the property 20, 30 percent above what it's really worth. Then they have to do price reduction, price reduction, price reduction. Price reduction. And I noticed this because I've been studying this stuff. They end up selling that property for way less than it's worth. Like you just mentioned that. Well, yeah, because it sits on the market and people start thinking, what's oh, wrong? my God, what's wrong with the house? And then that's when the sharks smell blood in the water and they come in and just take the property from you. Yeah. So you end up losing so much more because you're so focused on this little sticker of 1% that you end up losing a lot more money and you leave so much money on the table. Right. So mm -hmm. right. hire a professional. Yeah, totally. I agree yeah. with that. So anything else we wanted to add to this conversation? I mean, I just took three listings at 6% and they were so happy that they hired yeah. me. Um, and I think that what, you know, they're just, just let them know. I'm like, would you like to, you know, interview other people and just interview them and, and go the against difference. them <laughs> and see the difference. Mm -hmm. Like my marketing packaging, everything that I do for them is just going to stand out and they're going to want to list and stay away from those people that want to take advantage of you that you know because when you're discounting your commission you're also discounting your service because you oh. can't afford it so what do you want to do do you want to spend that time like you are a professional like with these people that want to not appreciate you at one percent just go just say thank you i appreciate it but i i'd rather work with people that appreciate me right so people you know people love our service and just go there's so many people out there that won't you know that won't discount you so don't focus so much on the people that are going to just take advantage of you. Um, like I said, I just took 
just three listings last week at 6%, no complaints. You Thank you so much. We can't wait to work with you. Mm -hmm. That's, that's yeah. exactly what it is. I mean, if you can show them what exactly we do different than other people, that's when you see the value. You bring so much value to the table. There is right. no other way around. So, you know, th the other thing that I, that I like to add is, uh, it's so let's say this guy's coming to the table, right? I'm like, oh, I'll charge 1%, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine us on the other side as a buyer's agent. I'm going to destroy you. I mean, mm -hmm. there's no other ways. I'm going to destroy you. If you're already <laughs> charging 1%, yeah. I'm going to destroy you because you obviously have no respect for yourself as a person because you know that the industry, the average is 5 to 6%, depending on what you offer. Mm -hmm. Then you're already offering 1%. You have no money for marketing. First of all, Nothing. zero money for marketing because, you know, we have staff and we have bills and we do a premier Zillow and, you know, on top of everything, you do your staging probably is a couple of thousand dollars. You do a, a good videographer and photos is going to cost you a thousand to twelve hundred bucks. And then you do a community video, yeah. add to it. And then you do proper flyers with, a, you know, card stock and whatnot and on and on and on. Here you go, you're four or five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. You add the website, you do call action and blah, blah, blah. Then what? What are you going to make? Yeah, you're not going to do any of that for them at 1%. You're not going to be able to. So, no sure, money. I'll list it. I just won't do anything for you. Um, but, I, you know, like I said, I wouldn't do it. I just won't work with people like that. And right. here's another thing. When you guys are out there discounting your um, commissions, is people will think that, you know, they will treat you a certain way. They won't appreciate you. So, I went into an appointment with two top people in my area. And he was using us against each other, discounting us. <laughs> and he's like, well, you do this. And then he's like, oh, you don't want to do it? I'll fire you and do this. They don't, they feel like you're just, you know, some, some <laughs> random, like they just make a mockery of you. And that's what we're becoming. And we're professionals. Mm -hmm. Like we, we have families, we've got to take care of them. And we hold mm -hmm. ourselves, if we don't hold ourselves to a high standard, people won't either. That's right. Right. So, so I think with all, you know, with the situation with Uber and, you know, you can probably, you like technology. So Uber, so they offering a service without actually having, you know, mortar and this, this new thing, EXP that we had, a, I was here present and whatnot. So that's where the trend is going, you know. But I think there's one thing that you cannot replace mm -hmm. is a professional. Mm -hmm. You live in Rancho Bernardo, right? You still live? Yeah. 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 So, and you live in Escondido. Mm -hmm. If I ask you about details in Escondido, in, the in a specific neighborhood by Eden Meadows, you probably know everything because you live there. Absolutely. And there's a lot of things that I cannot find online because only locals know. Mm -hmm. Not only that, because you're a real estate professional, you have 100 plus transactions under your belt, you know about the business, right? right? right. So if I have to sell a house, I cannot find all the information that you know about that specific area. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, even you, you might need to even know where the buyers are coming from. Mm -hmm. I bet you know who moves there. Let me ask you, in your area. Right now, we're getting a lot of um, a lot of families actually moving into Escondido. From where? Now. Uh, well, they're moving from, they're getting some come from downtown San Diego area. Uh, Lots of military a, folks. A lot of military yeah. folks. Why are they moving there? Well, they're moving there because, one, the value there is, is good. You're getting a lot of places in Escondido, especially in the Hidden Meadows or the area that I'm uh, really in, is uh, you get more land out there as well. So you're not, you're not on top of your neighbors. Yeah, try to see if you can find that stuff online. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's There's true. insights that, mm -hmm. you know, you cannot find. I don't think... The real estate professional, and, and I said again, professional, not a real estate agent, mm -hmm. is going to be replaced by uh, Purple Brick Computer, yeah. or by Rex or by all this B bullshit. I've worked Sorry, with all of it. them, and I've had one or two maybe decent ones, but everybody else has no clue. I, I literally have to pick up all the work that they have to do, too, it's and now I have two jobs. You know, I got to close the deal and, mm -hmm. you know, sell the deal because they have yeah. no clue what they're doing and there's too many people involved. You work involved. on both sides. Yeah, I well, work no, on both and sides. And the other thing is, uh, you know, a, a lot of these uh, brokerages that are offering these uh, 1%, your transaction coordinator is running the deal. Oh, you yeah. know, it's not, you don't see the agent. It's hard to even get a hold of the agent, let alone, you know, when you're trying to do negotiations or you're trying to, um, you know, find out information about the property, you're talking to the assistants or the transaction coordinators, I would say 90% of the time. Right, which they never seen the property, I have no clue. Correct. So, few people here uh, commenting. Thank you guys for watching. And first of all, 
Habib seems like he needed some uh, some love. What up? <laughs> What's up, Habib? Then we have looks like Gary V. Uh, Christopher Sprague. Oh, Gary V. Hi, Gary. <laughs> Gary V. is watching us. Are you referring us. to me? Like, <laughs> it looks like Gary V. I guess it was referring to me or somebody else. Uh, then we got Zabby. Oh, Benny. No I know Zab. Zabby. Zabby, hey, they're all great points. That's why Creative House, I, obviously Zabby is in the business. He's uh, uh, all for staging photos, drone, and so on. Deep cleaning service. Great, great stuff. Yeah, so you offer that. Obviously, it has a cost. I don't know. How many actually can you would you mind to write that in this comments how many discount brokerages do you have as a client i'm assuming zero, zero. <laughs> discount brokerages <laughs> can't afford staging benny charles all of my problems transaction have all happened when i discounted my services that's right oh, there you go why is that benny It's because they're already probably starting with that they're going to be cheaper uh, up yeah. front and there you go so guys i wanted to uh Thank you both once again for coming over. I think we spoke a lot about this. Uh, hopefully there is some, uh, you know, prospect sellers and other agents there, discount brokers right now that are watching this video. Zabi responded zero. So mm -hmm. that doesn't shock me, my friend. <laughs> so yeah. obviously, you know, I think we make great points. I want to thank you, Gina, uh, Sonia Zizi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sonia Zizi for coming over. Anthony Palomares. Guys, you want to close it with anything? Let me know. Don't be a discount broker. Yeah. <laughs> Make real estate great again. Make real estate great again. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Talk to you soon. Ciao.